Thought my best friend's fiancé hated me because I'm gay. Turns out, she's worried I'll go after him. I never thought I would find myself in a situation like this, but here it goes. My 23M best friend's 24M fiancé hates me, and I don't know why. For the purpose of this story, I'll call him Finn. A little backstory, Finn and I have both known each other since we were in 6th grade. We grew so close from there that he had grown to be a part of my family, and I a part of his. Around the summer of my 10th grade year, I came out to my parents as gay. Let's just say that they didn't take it too kindly, and I ended up disowned, but that's a story for another day. Going to start it off and say I've never had or teased any romantic feelings towards Finn. To make a long story short, Finn's family happily took me in and treated me with nothing but kindness. When Finn and I graduated from high school, he went on to work under his father while his parents helped me pay to attend college. During my time away for college is when Finn met Sarah 27F. I believe it was my third year of college when I finally got to meet her. It was during a family dinner. I greeted her warmly and tried to make my best impression because she's my best friend's girlfriend. When I went to shake her hand, she looked at my hand in a weird way. I don't want to say disgust, but I'm not sure how to describe it. I felt a little bummed, but it was whatever. Maybe she is just nervous. After that school break, weird things started happening like me and Finn's messages randomly being muted, or my number randomly being blocked on Finn's phone. At one point it got so weird that Finn contacted a aunt to see if it was a glitch or something. Obviously, I'm guessing it was her, but I would never accuse someone without any hard proof, plus I'm like two states over at the time, so I literally have no proof. Things got even worse when I moved back home after finally graduating from college. Because I have so much respect for their relationship, I never tried to make plans with Finn. If we went out at any point, it was because he was sure he had nothing planned and he would set the date and everything and then let me know. This worked fine, until it didn't. I want to clarify that we got to hang out about two or three times a month, for about three months. After those three months, that's where things started getting weird. On the days where Finn and I planned to meet, Sarah would call him and have some sort of situation literally about an hour or less from the time we would be meeting. She would say things like she's having car troubles, she's feeling ill, or she is lonely and needs him. I never felt right trying to stop him from going to her if he needed to, he would say he didn't, but just to avoid anything I'd cancel on him just to make him go see her. Surprise, there would be no car troubles, and all of a sudden, she felt so much better. Eventually Finn and I stopped hanging out as much because it just got annoying, for me at least. We would see each other at family gatherings, but that would be about it. Fast forward to January of this year, Finn proposed to Sarah. Everyone including myself had been over the moon for them. Who wouldn't be happy to see their best friend tie the knot with someone they love? Let me be the first to say this has been the shittiest time ever. To start. She puzzled everyone by immediately making a post on her Instagram story with a picture of her and Finn. She captioned the picture better than the rest, with a kissing emoji. This led me and Finn's older siblings asking him if he cheated, because who's the rest? Finn responds that she's just too excited to make sense. That made no sense to me either, but not my circus. With their wedding coming up soon, their planning has been nothing short of a nightmare. Her family for some reason doesn't want to help with the cost of the wedding which isn't their obligation, so I get it but we as a family decided to all pitch in and help them get the best wedding possible. After everything had been covered there was only one thing left. Who would be in the wedding party? We knew there would be one since she talked so much about it. Finn only had one request and that was me being his best man. She initially agreed, but after a few weeks she came back and said that me being best man won't be possible because she wants that spot for her brother. This caused some troubles for them, and things were almost called off until I had just talked to Finn and was just s fine. Just let her have it and enjoy your day. Don't let me be the reason you lose what you do have. Of course I was upset about it, but I would feel worse if things went south because of me. I would say that was my biggest mistake as now it feels like she is flexing her power. Recently, during another family dinner she brought up seating and shower us a few pictures. Why would I not be surprised that she sat me at a table away from those I would call my family? When she showed us, I got a few glances from Finn's parents and siblings, and damn I might be a doormat but I was just fine with it if the wedding still got to happen. My problem is I just want things to be fine if not good between me and her. I don't know if it's because I'm not related by blood or she's homophobic or whatever it may be, but I don't want this to be a constant thing. I hoped that with time, things would get better, and they really haven't. I'm hoping things get better after the wedding, but I'm not even sure. I don't want to talk to anyone close to us and start something, and I'm really considering going low contact with Finn if this solves the issue. 
but I don't really know what I'm doing here. How do I go about this while protecting my relationship with Finn's family, my friendship with Finn, and not destroying his relationship? Update 1 to 15 hours later so, I wasn't expecting to update so soon, but I had something unexpected that happened today. So yesterday I posted about problems I'm having with my best friend's fiancé. After receiving a ton of great advice, I figured that I would at least speak to one of Finn's family members or Finn himself tomorrow since that's when we meet for dinner, but I was a bit surprised when Finn dropped by my apartment today. I was spooked at first with me making the Reddit post and thinking that he had seen the post and was here to confront me. Luckily, he said that he was just in the area and decided to stop by. There was the initial small talk you do when someone comes over and then a good 20 minutes of us daydreaming about the food, we are having tomorrow laugh out loud, but then I remembered someone saying I should show Finn the Reddit post. I learned that the more I waited, the more damage there will be when things come to a head. I guess he noticed my hesitancy since he asked me what's going on. As much as I wanted to say nothing and keep letting the issue stay where it is, there would be no point of me coming on here asking you all for help. I pulled up the Reddit post on my laptop and showed him the post. He read the post about three or four times, which made me nervous again since time was going on and on and he had just been staring with no reaction for so long. After a while, he asked is this it? I can't even explain how fast my heart sunk. I thought he was about to downplay the situation even though I would say that the two of us have always been understanding of what each other are going through. He read through the comments of the post before he sat the laptop down. I want to thank you guys so much because the conversation that followed had me floored. I would say almost everyone who gave suggestions were correct in some way. Anyways the conversation went like this Finn have I ever made you feel like this was something you couldn't tell me? Me that's a very difficult question to answer. Not directly but your happiness played a huge role in me just brushing it under the rug. Finn you should have told me this long ago. Don't you think I would want to know about this? I thought things were going fine. Finn there is a difference between you being considerate of my relationship with Sarah, and you letting me be stupid enough to let her run over you and our friendship. After that, I had to ask him if he really saw nothing going on. He said he felt really pissed about the entire wedding situation, but he chalked it up to her just wanting her day to be how she imagined it. I made sure to remind him that it's his day as well, which is honestly something I should have said back when I was removed from best man. I then asked him would he have idea why she acts the way towards me. I had never met the girl, so it puzzled me how she could be so made towards me. Me thinking it would be a little petty reason that could be easily fixed, right? Wrong whoever said something about a drunken confession or something of the sort, you would be right. Apparently during my time in college, Finn got closer to some people who went to our high school. This led to him meeting Sarah as well. He said that before he and Sarah started dating, it was one time where they had all decided to hang out and had been playing some sort of drunken confessions game. I've never really been to parties like that so I don't know how those work. Anyways, he started rambling for a bit before I asked for him to get to the point, in whatever ducked up way it happened, he remembers saying something along the lines of I wish my name was a girl. Not blaming him, but there is no way you said some crazy stuff like that. I almost thought he was joking, but he had a stone face. No wonder she hates me, and that makes me wish I would have spoken up sooner. I told him how whatever he said was not okay. I also told him that if he knew he said something like that, out of everyone. He should have known that she would feel some kind of way. He tried to excuse it by saying that he thought no one would remember and it was just something that would pass. Let me clarify that Finn and I have never had anything going on. I don't even know why something like that would be said, and it still feels unbelievable to me. Now I can sort of understand where Sarah is coming from, but then again 1. If this guy were to say something like that, why would you even go after him? 2. If you do end up with this guy, why are you going after the person who he said those things about like it's their fault? 3. If there was a problem that obviously Sarah felt some way about, she should have talked to him or even me and we could have spoken about it. Says the guy who sat quietly for this long, I know. Anyways, to sum up the rest of our conversation, we ended up understanding that there is a problem that at least he and Sarah need to address. He told me he'd call later today after they sit down and have a talk. Every so often, I laugh because what kind of confession is I wish he was a girl. Dude. No. Before anyone asks, no. I didn't ask him if he still felt that way because that's just a can I don't want to open. I'll be sure to update you all whenever he talks to Sarah and hopefully, we can find some sort of common ground. Update to so, I guess it's safe to say that the wedding is off. On Friday I came here with the problem of my best friend's fiancé hating me. After getting a ton of great advice, I was able to speak to Finn when he dropped by the next day. We spoke for a really long time, with some really weird things being said check previous update. Anyways, after Saturday. 
Finn told me he'd call me that night after he spoke to his fiancée, Sarah. Well that never happened. Sunday dinner rolled around, and everyone came by. I knew he had spoken to Sarah because she was giving me a death glare from across the table. All right, now you're starting to piss me off. We get through dinner and now everyone had just been in conversation. At some point, Finn pulled both me and Sarah outside to the backyard. There was a long silence, but then Finn cleared his throat and then the conversation went something like this Finn do it. Sarah I already told you I'm not doing anything. Me what does she have to do? Finn she needs to apologize about everything so we can all be fine. Sarah I did nothing wrong. Your relationship is weird. My name is weird. His relationship with your family is weird, and I should be the one making you apologize. Me I get why you're upset, but things Finn said in the past are not my fault, and I'm sure there are some things people say where they're drunk that they don't so. At this point, Sarah got red in the face and just began screaming. Watching this play out in real time, the first thought in my head was she needs a ducking exorcism. Most of what she was saying couldn't even be understood, but I made out things like he ducking knew and why would you tell him you said that I knew you two had something going on. W. T. F. So, at that point Finn's parents and siblings had finally come outside because of Sarah and they asked what's going on. I try to explain, but Sarah just starts screaming that I'm a dirty dog that needs to be put down. I guess to cool the situation down. After a little convincing Finn's mom is able to get Sarah into the house. Finn's sister also went inside with them, leaving only me, Finn, Finn's older brother, and Finn's dad outside. I explain my side of the story and then Finn explains his side. We spoke about the talk Finn, and I had at my apartment on Saturday. He received some teasing for the weird comment he made about me, but the conversation became serious again. Eventually Finn's mom and sister come back outside. They say that Sarah is in the bathroom cleaning herself up. His mom starts the conversation with are you two messing around? I'm. Fucking. Floored. I fill her in on everything she is yet to know. I tell her that I've never flirted, kissed, or doing anything else that was not platonic with Finn. I'm guessing Sarah was listening in through the back door instead of just coming out, because as soon as the words left my mouth, she came out screaming at me that I'm a liar. I ask her at what point have I ever made her feel like I'm chasing after Finn. I mean I'm helping to fund their damn wedding. Finn parents are trying to help her understand that everything is being misunderstood, but she isn't having it. She kept yelling until the point where Finn had to pull her aside. It started off as a yelling match between them, but then things finally began to calm down and I thought she understood, and we could talk it out. Right? Wrong color me ducking surprised when she walks back over like everything is fine and slaps me. After the long period of silence and shock, I was just done, and I was like I'm out. Finn and Sarah begin yelling at each other again but at that point I couldn't have cared any less. I head back inside to grab my things cause I'm done with the situation. Eventually Sarah's screams at Finn go from calling him names to her saying I'm sorry and give it back. Finn yelled at her to stop. Hell, even I was scared, and I didn't even do anything. He then said something like I let you have the wedding how you wanted. I've never given you a reason to doubt me. The fact that you're just yelling and screaming here like a toddler is honestly something I'm not looking for in a partner. You make up this fake scenario in your head, and why? What good does that do? You're pissed about a comment made at a party before we even dated, and that is crazy to me. You won't apologize. You won't listen. I should take the ring the moment you slapped him. Nobody in this house has ever disrespected everyone else like you've done today. Finn came inside as well and began grabbing his things. He told his parents that he's going to sleep in his old bedroom upstairs for a few nights which they were fine with. I knew Sarah had driven over with him, and before anything, no matter what they went through he should make sure he gets her home safe. After I spoke to him about taking her home, he agreed. Everyone had finished grabbing their things around the same time with me, Finn, Sarah, and his siblings all heading to our cars at the same time. The entire time, I was surprised but not interested when Sarah began apologizing to me. I mean, I didn't even want her to apologize in the first place, but just treat me with the kindness I offered to her. Why did we have to go through all of this for you to realize that you're just being downright nasty? I'm not sure if she's been cheated on in the past or if it's some kind of trauma or something, but it's also not for me to figure out. Finn ended up dropping her off, and I'm guessing he called me by the time he got back to his parents' place. I didn't even answer because I was just tired, and the entire confrontation drained me. It definitely could have gone better, and I hoped that this would be something that could be easily fixed, instead it destroyed a relationship which I feel shitty about. It's Monday afternoon and there is still no word on if Finn and Sarah have even spoke to each other this morning. I haven't spoken to anyone this morning either, but Finn did send me a few TikTok videos. I think it's just sad because even with the way she treated me, 
I think their relationship was a beautiful thing, and it sucks that things such as jealousy and misunderstandings can be silent killers to a relationship. I thank you all for the advice and for pushing me towards talking to someone about this. I wish things could have ended differently, but as some of you said, this should be a wake-up call towards both Finn and me. I'm not sure what will come of everything. Maybe they will reconcile eventually, but I think for now the wedding may be off. Now for the comments. Commenter 1 I just want to say that I have a lot of respect on how you handled the situation. I'm sorry that things devolved the way that they did. Original poster thank you. I feel bad as well, but more so for Finn since his years long relationship just went up in flames. Commenter 2 she is a homophobe and she hit original poster. So many eyewitnesses. Original poster can press charges literally. Don't accept those fake apologies. She just wants her wedding. She is not sorry. She is only sorry she caught red-handed. I am sure her family and friends will believe her lies. She probably is one of those MAGA people. Good riddance. Original poster from what I know about her, half of her family doesn't talk to her. I don't know why though. Also, I also felt like she was a homophobe after she made the dog comment. I doubt she'd be back around us after Finn's parents have seen that side of her. They messaged all of us excluding Sarah explaining their dislike for the situation and how they think it's best if Sarah doesn't visit. Commenter 3 You're amazing for the way you respect their relationship and handled that mess last night the fact that she thought slapping you in front of a group of people who love you and for them to agree to kick you out of their lives because the delusion she created in her mind is mind boggling. She doesn't not seem mentally well, especially if half her family doesn't talk to her. I don't believe their relationship is as good as you think it was, her mask started slipping a while ago. Hopefully, for the sanity of your family and Finn they part ways, cause imagine how jealous she'd be if he gave a baby attention. Original poster if there is something mentally wrong, I hope she can get the help she needs. I do wonder if her family cutting her off ties into the mental issues. If that is the case and the wedding is off, I hope they use the money for many refunds they get to get Sarah therapy or something. Commenter 4 Why do you feel bad? Your best friend was spared marrying and possibly breeding with an insane covert narcissist. You guys should be celebrating. You're too afraid to rock the boat and that's going to bite you more than help you. If you had addressed this after the first instance, I bet it wouldn't have blown up like it has. Your people will always value you, even if you don't value yourself. If they're with someone that hates you, that's going to be a deal breaker for them and that's okay. Stand up for yourself more. Original poster I would say it's a bittersweet feeling. I'm glad her mask fell as people say, and Finn saw her for who she was if he hadn't already. But also, I'm never happy to see people who go through things like this. Update 3 Hello Reddit, it has been almost a week since my initial post and I can't thank you all enough for all the advice. Even the people who called me out on being a doormat, thank you. Since my last update a lot has happened. I want to start things out by flat out saying that there isn't a chance of reconciliation between Finn and Sarah, and after reading everything and really taking a step back to see how this situation was definitely a blessing, I'm happy with the outcome. Since the major fallout. Me and Finn have spoken a lot about not only being open and honest with each other about things that bother us, but to also establish boundaries for our future partners not that either of us are getting out there. Yesterday evening, Finn and I went over to the apartment he shares with Sarah to retrieve his belongings. When we got there, Sarah wasn't home so that was a relief. It was a bit of work to get all of his things bagged boxed up and put in the rental, but luckily, we got everything. I actually live in a decent sized apartment. So Finn is going to stay with me until he settles everything with the place he hid with Sarah. Finn along with the rest of his family ended up blocking Sarah, with Finn blocking her after they spoke a final time this morning. I was around during the conversation and there was another moment where you all really helped. I'm guessing Finn did take notes from you all because he spoke for a long period about how she has things that she needs to work on before looking for a relationship with some of them being the ability to love herself and dealing with her mental health as well as she is clearly not in a good state. There was a lot more but that is just to make a long story short. She asked him was there really no chance that things could work out between them. He told her no, not only because of what he had just said, but because she disrespected him, me, and the rest of his family. He told her he should have put his foot down a long time ago, and it's just as much his fault as it is hers that things got this far. He told her that he wished the best for her, and when she is ready for a relationship and the right time comes, then that will be that. There was a long moment of silence and then she ended the call and he blocked her not long after. I'm not sure how the wedding cancellations and all that good stuff will work, but I'm sure we'll handle it. As far as me and Finn's relationship goes, I feel really happy. I feel like I got my best friend back, and it's crazy how you don't realize how different the energy and friendships become when you are in situations like that for that long. I can admit that no, none of this was not my fault, 
however I could have spoken up about it not only for myself but for Finn as well. Maybe the two of us along with the rest of the family should take a trip somewhere, taking time for ourselves. I think this whole situation has been very eye-opening for both me and Finn and there needs to be some changes, especially with us and our communication, because as you all said, it wouldn't have gotten this far had we spoke on it. That's pretty much it. There wasn't a crazy fight scene where the police bust in and take Sarah away. I think that Sarah definitely needs to get her shit together, but we also have to better ourselves as well, and some of you have made me very aware of the pushover I can be. You've all given me so much guidance and that really warms my heart. I actually cried a little, because almost a week ago, I felt so hopeless. This will most likely be the last update, but before I go, I'll answer some of your questions that I felt shouldn't go ignored. Also, I read every single comment. And even if I didn't respond, best believe I took it to heart and I am forever grateful. Okay, first question. Why do you think their relationship was a beautiful thing? I can't say my words were misconstrued, but I will say that I expressed myself and my thoughts the wrong way. What I was trying to convey was not the beauty of their relationship, but the beauty of relationships and the idea of relationships as a whole. I hope both Finn and Sarah find their person when they are ready. Why do you feel bad? This was another case of me expressing my thoughts poorly. I don't feel bad that Finn got out of that situation. I'm happy that he's out of that toxic environment before things got even more messy. What I felt bad about was that there was a situation to even begin with, and if my best friend is hurting, I can't help but feel bad. Being a rebound for Finn? No. Absolutely not. If there were to ever be something between me and Finn, it would be under full understanding that we are in it for each other. Not saying that it would ever even happen. But what good would a rebound do besides hurt each other? Once again not claiming to have feelings for him, but even if I did, I wouldn't use this as a chance to start anything with him with emotions everywhere. The last time I heard from my family. A few months before I started college which was many years ago. I wish them the best, just not around me. Have you and Finn cleared up what your relationship is meant to be? Yes, we definitely have, especially with the help of you all. I made it known to Finn that it's fine to feel however you feel towards me or anyone. But you have to understand who you are and what you want out of relationships with people whether it's friendships, lovers, etc. Someone said platonic soulmates and that definitely suits us. Why did Sarah's family disown her? That remains unknown. If I ever find out, I'll let you all know. I wish her the best as well, just not around me. Has Sarah ever physically abused Finn? No. He has said that they argued consistently, but there were never any hands laid on one another. Did you file a police report against Sarah? No. I did not, but do not worry. Since it all happened on the back porch, it had been picked up on the camera and I have it saved to my phone if I ever need it which I doubt. How have your partners felt about Finn? Never had one. I think that pretty much wraps it up if anyone has any more questions, I'll do my best to answer. If this wasn't the update you expected, still treat me kindly. Once again, I love you all so much, heart, 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 now for the comments. Commenter 1 it's as happy of an update as we could hope for. I hope he will be okay. I thought though. I know it is great to have him around and be best friends again. And your support is incredible but because your relationship was the thing, she latched onto to cause her mental breakdown of the relationship. Maybe him staying with his family might be best for a bit? I would just hate for her to start spreading rumors that y'all have to awkwardly fight off original poster Finn works under his dad, and they work every day. Also, I live a good distance away from their apartment, and my area has great surveillance, heart. I will take your concern into consideration though. Commenter 2 How did Finn's parents feel? Considering they watched you guys grow up original poster they both, along with Finn's siblings, have always been supportive of any decisions Finn and I made. When they were told that things were off with Sarah, they completely understood, just like when Finn decided he didn't see one college, or I decided I did. They truly are amazing, heart, update 4 Hi to those still out there D a little has happened since everything went down. We are currently at a vacation cabin and the picture is a trail that we had took a walk on. Finn is doing really well and his parents as well as the rest of us are really happy to have him around a lot more. I've lived in the city all my life, so to see those huge hills is crazy, ha. Also, I guess Sarah has been up as well. Since Finn and Sarah basically have the same friend group, he saw a picture from someone else's page of Sarah out at the club. He seemed indifferent to it, so I guess he's also learning to let it go if he hasn't already. Finn's parents and siblings leave tomorrow afternoon for either work or other reasons, but Finn and I decided to stay at the cabin for a while longer. Update 5 Hi everyone I know it's been a while, a little over a month since you've last heard from me, and a few people asked for an update. Nothing much has happened. I finished playing Elden Ring, 
which was a pretty fun game besides the parts where I raged. I also thought I may have met a guy, but our views on things were a bit too different for my liking, which is okay. Finn is still staying with me, and the only problem is him wanting to use my Xbox 24-7 I'm kidding lol. I really don't know much about Sarah. I heard she's with a new guy, but hey. Rumors are rumors. A funny thing that did happen was Finn and I getting scolded by his parents once we got back from the trip. The whole communication is key thing that they literally hammered into our head the entire trip. I would say that things are going well. I hope you are all doing good as well, heart.